As always guys, giveaways at the end of every single video from BoostedShades.com, so make sure you stick around till the end to see how to win. What is up guys, welcome to another video. Yesterday's ended on kind of a down note, but today we are going to make up for all that and more because we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna fix our, uh, what are we fixing today? Uh, the brakes on the dots. Yeah, this is probably the most terrifying aspect of this car is that the rotors are probably original. Well, no, definitely not. But they're really bad and they're warped and they make the wheel shake. And uh, there's actually a big brake upgrade you can do for this car. That's probably the cheapest four piston upgrade you could do for any car. So we're gonna walk you guys through exactly what goes into that today. And uh, we're gonna fix that back line that prevented us from driving it tomorrow. Cause that's truly terrifying. What, Shitty having... brakes is one thing, but then having brakes that just completely stop working is a completely new story. Having no brakes at all? Yeah. A little, a little scary. The first thing you need for this upgrade is any Toyota pickup brakes from the four wheel drive truck from 1980 to 1985. Um, interestingly, these brake calipers, they bolt right up to the stock dots and location. Uh, we're going to head into O'Reilly's. We were told that they have them at this location. And I think they're only like 30 bucks a piece, which really does make this the cheapest um, brake upgrade you can do for this car. These are either rim, reman, but the guy in there seems to think that this was a new casting. I don't know though, but it, regardless, it looks great and they're dirt cheap, it would probably cost you as much to go pull some from a junkyard and paint them and refurbish them yourselves. Obviously, this brake is simply massive compared to the stock uh, Datsun calipers. We'll show you a side-by-side -side of that as well. I'm tripping over my fucking words today, Devin. Yeah, dude. So we just got the last two of these. Yeah, the only other... <laughs> But the uh, the only other thing that we need for this job is just two eight inch brake lines. They happen to have two of them left at Marshall's. So we grab those, we're gonna shoot over to uh, O'Reilly's and get those spark plugs we mentioned in the last video. And uh, then we're good to start working on this. Yeah, suck at eating chips. When we drove in, we noticed <laughs> that the rest of our stuff got here that we need to do this. It's always nice to walk up to the door and find car parts. So these are just like the stock ones, only they are slotted, not drilled, because drilling these doesn't really add a whole lot. Um, and I kind of just like the look of this, it's a little bit cleaner. I think that yeah. the drilled and slotted, it just kind of, it's too messy. <laughs> Yeah, you missed one. <laughs> oh, no way, dude. This one actually has four? Yeah, both the front ones do. That's crazy. I bet you I'm faster and far more efficient at that. You can only see it, dude. Now it's a competition. Give me that shit. You can't make it a competition after I've already done it. Well, of course I can. You should be striving for excellence every time you do this, Devin. Oh, uh, yeah? Alright. Would it be easier if I had them like this or like this? Oh, as he strips him and doesn't get one off. It is an off all of that. Alright, that was uh, awful. Ah, you suck! I think I was still faster though because you completely missed one and tried to take the wheel off. It was a super shitty performance by both of us. Okay, so obviously the first step is to uh, take off these. So let's take off those. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna see the wear pattern and then this shiny spot right here and then more of this. That means that this is contacting more. Actually, every time this goes around, even with the brakes off, that's hitting the pads. So that's why the wheel's shaking by. It also gets way harder to turn there, so these need to be replaced anyway. Um, they're pretty fucked up. 
and all you guys are like, oh yeah, I fucking rip it, 20 pounds of boost, let's go do burnouts, donuts, floor it. <laughs> It's not going to be fun with those. <laughs> we'd like Don't worry. To, Soon enough, yeah, we'll be able to do all of that cool shit. Maybe we'll put the 18-pound spring in soon. Maybe we'll just put the boost controller in soon. Our next few videos are going to be brakes and suspension, so we'll actually be comfortable with this car. Come on. Damn. Come on, Dad. <laughs> Sick. No, oh, they're adorable. Okay, so as you can see, much more surface area on the uh, four pistons. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. These old brakes suck. I, mean, I shouldn't say that because they're good, but why not make them better? So that slides off of there, and then the center hub is transferred to the new rotors with these nuts. This thing, yeah, this this is just a shitty uh, kind of system we got going here, but. Now because these are a lot bigger, we need to uh, retrace how much material we need to cut off of the shield in the back. Look at that ridiculous blade. It's all bent, funky shape. Look at that. This is perfect. Yeah. It's great. Mm, awesome. Look at this thing. It's fucking huge, dude. Pumps. There's only two of us. Why'd you get such a big pizza? I like pizza. I guess there's no such thing as uh, too much pizza. Oh, man. Hold on. Look at that clearance. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, yep. Oh, I know that it's no. Oh, she already thinks she's getting some. What is this, half uh, combo, half uh, cheese? Yeah. Good enough for me, man. Do you think we need this whole thing? Yeah. It's fire, as always. We finally got the brake pads in there with these absolutely absurd clips that they provide you. It just holds the brake pads apart so they don't rub on the caliper or the rotor when you're not using them. Uh, believe it or not, now all we have to do is bolt this up to the stock location. Yep. Well, we have to make that little brake line, but... Last thing to do is to fix the original problem, which was this rubber line that we got in this morning. Bleed the brakes and upgrade complete. All right, the shitty thing about the time of year that it is, is even though we finished and it's only four, it's already dark outside. It's super dark. It's been dark for like an hour. We're going to go find out if we if the brakes work and we don't die anyway. So uh, we're going to be able to test out our uh, rigged up headlights for the first time. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Let's see. You guys probably won't be able to see us real well, but that's okay. Great. Yeah, they do. Look at that, yeah, that's nice. 
Uh, yeah, we're sorry it's dark, guys, but the, the wheel isn't violently trying to shake itself out of my hands, so that's always a good thing. Obviously, we're not moving, so we wouldn't be doing yeah, that anymore. Anyway. No, I'm just trying to see if I can see it at all. Oh, the brakes feel so nice. The difference is, that, is not scary anymore. Uh, I mean, it is because it's still scary, and it's scary because the suspension is uh, these shocks just metal fatigue over the years. They are so worn out. It floats around like a boat. Uh, it actually bottoms out, but I can stop. breakup problem and if we can then we're gonna put the 18 pound spring in and do that for you guys on Monday all right guys that's gonna wrap this one up that's probably been the at least my favorite upgrade so far because the car was absolutely a, uh, a terrifying mess to drive before and now it's just a uh, mess yeah that wheel shake was one scary and two super annoying <laughs> yep and um when the brakes didn't work in the driveway the other day that you know we just we definitely needed to go through that particular system and make sure that it functioned especially if we do plan to uh tune it a little bit better and turn up the boost to almost double what it is now which we do plan on doing now that it can stop and we'll probably do that this weekend but that's going to wrap this one up so that means that devin's going to pick a winner for this video's giveaway if you're unfamiliar with our channel, we give away products from BoostedShades.com every single video. Um, instructions on how to win right after Devin picks this one. All right, this video's winner is Damon Proyer. All right, Damon, you can hit us up at Team Boosted at BoostedShades.com or through any of our social media pages, uh, such as Facebook Messenger, um, and we'll ship you your prize. If you want to win the video giveaways, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and uh, Drop a comment. It could be any comment, but sometimes we ask you guys questions, and if you want to answer that, you can. Um, we have a lot of different projects, so our funding's kind of tight sometimes. It would be great if somebody just wrote us like a $10,000 check. So our question to you this time is if somebody did write you a $10,000 check and you could only spend it on an upgrade for your car, uh, what would it be? Leave that in the comments and you're eligible to win. Uh, you can just comment whatever you want. You're still eligible. Just make sure you like and subscribe. and. Uh, as always, guys, it's gonna wrap this one up, and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.